know, don't get us kicked out. <laughs> we're, we're, ready. we're back here with Congressman Adam Kinzinger. As dramatic as these hearings have been, and I have to say, y'all have done a very good job of... There's, there hasn't been one dud right. so far. Yeah. My worry yesterday, when you called this emergency one, I went, oh, no, don't rush it, because every single one of them has not disappointed. There's been something very substantive. There's no nothing burgers. It's all meat, okay? And because they've been so uh, compelling and so informative and very specific in their information, have you seen any... Have you gotten any response from your Republican colleagues saying, yeah, I'm seeing cracks in the armor here? Because I noticed that it was either today or yesterday, the Washington Examiner, right. not a liberal rag, right. said, yeah, you can't ever trust him with power again. It is time to never support him again. By the way, I will say I was very concerned that my hearing would be a dud, but it turned out all right, because you're always sitting around fearful, like, oh, this is the one I got to talk about with DOJ. No, yours was Look, insane. It was insane. It was senior, the most senior Justice Department official saying in their contemporaneous notes, which legally are considered the same as videotape, yep. that the, they told the president it's illegal, and he said, well, just lie about it anyway, and just my Republican lie about colleagues it. will take care Leave of it. Leave it to me and the Republican congressman to do the rest. All you got to do is a little white lie, a big lie, and, tell, and we'll do all the rest. I mean, that's incredible. But look, I, uh, there's going to be so much more information that comes out. And yes, I had a friend of mine... Uh, a really close friend that sent me a text and said, my dad has been basically glued to Fox News for the last five years. Uh, he buys everything that Donald Trump says. He said he watched your hearing, and now he is outraged against Donald Trump, and he appreciates everything that's been done. So, <laughs> it's... It's a small... It's a small anecdote, but there are cracks in the armor. It doesn't mean that, you know, all the Republicans are going to wake up but it means that some are. And by the way, in a democracy, we need more than 50% of Americans to believe in democracy. We've got that now. Republicans have got to wake up too. Look, you are Republicans, you're being lied to. You're being lied to and you're being taken advantage of. Um, you can't be that gullible. Let's, let's fight to defend our democracy. Well, is there any sense... I, I know y'all are getting new information. I know you're getting Every new day. information, and I know that you've taken a little pause now. You're going back to your pause, and it'll be coming back sometime in July, the 11th, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any sense of how long this is going to go? Yeah, I think we're going to do a couple more hearings, and uh, we're, we're good. obviously the investigation will continue. Mm -hmm. When the report comes out, we'll probably do a hearing or two around the report. But I think we showed yesterday that as we need to, we'll add more hearings. And uh, so we can tell the rest of the story that we know so far in the next couple, um, but there's a lot of details that have to be filled in. There's a lot of details that we can still fill in. And by the way, again, every day, new people are coming forward and saying, I've got this video. We have a, you know, a documentary maker that said, sure. I happen to have a whole bunch of video of the Oval Office. Like, okay, we're interested in that. Um, <laughs> that kind of stuff happens every day. Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna know the truth. And when your kids go to school, Someday they're going to be taught the truth about January 6th because of the work that this committee is doing. Congressman, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for your dedication to representative democracy. You bet. My honor. Congressman Adam Kinzinger, everybody. We'll be right back with the star of The Boys, Carl Urban.